hello so in this video i'll show you how to connect to your ec2 instance from visual studio why do we need to do this so that you can ease your development process so any files you create from your visual studio code which is installed on your laptop gets created on your ec2 instance or get executed on your ec2 instance once you connect uh, your ec2 instance from visual studio or any linux machine for that say so I've already created an EC2 instance, Amazon uh, Linux EC2 instance on AWS and inside Visual Studio, I would need to install a plugin which is known as Remote SSH. This is the plugin which helps you to connect your EC2 instance from the Visual Studio code and this Visual Studio is locally installed on my laptop. I'll go to this plugin and I'll click on the settings button okay, and I'll click on configure and here I need to put some configuration files. Okay. And this configuration details is nothing but you're putting your host name of your EC2 instance, the IP address, the user, which is EC2 hyphen user and the SSH key. In my scenario, the SSH key is kept kept in the downloads directory. So I have pointed the downloads directory. That's all I need to do over here. And I need to refresh once I save this configuration files and it will show up my EC2 instance. And I can just simply click on the connect button. And this will connect me to the EC2 instance. Now, once you've connected to your EC2 instance, you can click on File Explorer. You can open the folder. If I want to open Home EC2 folder, I can open that folder. And it will give me a navigation bar over here. So I can navigate through the entire directory on the left hand side of Visual Studio Code. Okay, so it will load up the directory in some time. Also, I can open terminal by cl clicking on open terminal. So this will open the terminal of my EC2 instance and I can type in the commands that that commands would get executed on the EC2 instance. So if I type any command over here, let's say I do sudo su and then I say, uh, then I say, let's say I have installed Docker on this machine. So if I say Docker hyphen hyphen version, it will show me the Docker version. Okay, it showed me the Docker version. Also, I can uh, make use of additional plugins. So, for example, I have installed uh, the Docker plugin. Why do I require this Docker plugin? Uh, so, this, this is a Docker plugin which is installed on this SSH machine. So, it eases the development for me. So, let's say that I am developing a Docker file. Okay. And I want auto completes and various features. So, it eases those things for me. So, I want to copy something. I can say copy dot dot so it auto complete things for me so not only for docker but if you're writing terraform or any other any other programming language uh, configuration file or code you can get the corresponding plugins in visual studio installed on this SSH machine and it will ease the development for you so this is the benefit you get so you get all the power of visual studio installed locally and you're connected to EC2 instance, you do any changes on this Visual Studio gets, those changes get reflected on the EC2 instance. Okay, so this is it for uh, connecting the EC2 instance from uh, Visual Studio code. Thank you for watching.